it's one of those things that, you know, we could be talking about, like, who shot JFK? It could just be lasting forever. Who knows? Yeah. A life that ended in disgrace. A death that has left many, many questions. Jeffrey Epstein was accused of sex trafficking and of sexually abusing a number of underage girls in the early 2000s. Facing a possible 45-year prison sentence, he pleaded not guilty. Breaking news this hour, officials say multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life. Yesterday, he was found dead here, in his cell in Manhattan. The Federal Bureau of Prisons called it an apparent suicide. His victims say they have now been robbed of justice, as he will never face the consequences of the crimes he committed. As his body left hospital, countless questions remained. Given that Epstein was found semi-conscious in his cell last month, why was he still not on suicide watch at the time of his death? Former U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York tweeted that there should be video from Epstein's cell. But the questions have also given way to conspiracy, given that Epstein was a notable figure with notable connections, including with President Trump, who has denied ever knowing about Epstein's alleged trafficking scheme. Now, the president is helping to spread an outrageous false story about Epstein's death being tied to the Clintons, a favorite target of Republican conspiracy theories. One of the posts he retweeted contained the hashtag Clinton body count. President Trump could use his megaphone for anything, but the president often uses it to amplify that which is the worst of us, personal attacks, bigotry, and insane conspiracy theories. While both Trump and Clinton knew Epstein, neither have ever been named in connection to his alleged trafficking. A spokesperson for President Clinton said the former president knows nothing about the terrible crimes of Jeffrey Epstein. His death comes the day after documents were released by a Manhattan court containing the details of a civil case between an Epstein accuser and Epstein's long-term friend and confidant, Ghislaine Maxwell, daughter of newspaper mogul Robert Maxwell. She has previously denied any involvement in any wrongdoing, including the many widespread allegations now in the public domain from those court documents released in the US. In those documents, Prince Andrew was accused of groping a young woman. Buckingham Palace said yesterday the document related to US proceedings to which the Duke of York is not a party and that any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. As the investigations begin into Epstein's death, the questions, and now conspiracies, will continue, as will the frustration and anger of his victims, who still seek justice. Well, earlier I spoke to the US lawyer, Lisa Bloom, who represents two complainants against Jeffrey Epstein. I began by asking her, where does this leave her clients, and how would they get anywhere near the truth? What we've been doing the last few weeks behind the scenes is working with the criminal authorities because we felt it was important that the criminal process go first. With Mr. Epstein's death, the criminal case against him ends. And that means the civil cases can begin. Those are lawsuits for money damages that I intend to file for my Epstein victims this week so they can get full and fair compensation for what he did to them. And I'm calling upon the administrator of his estate to freeze all of his assets so that all of the victims, not just my clients, but all of them can come forward and make claims. Have you spoken to your two clients in the last day or so? I mean, how are they feeling about what's happened? Yes, they're in shock. They're having a hard time processing it. One of my clients says she's just so angry at the jail officials who failed to keep him alive because she has had a long road to get here and she wants justice against him and now she'll be deprived of that. So she wants some accountability for the negligence in the jail. The other one says, you know what? It's kind of a relief. He's not gonna be able to harm anyone else. He's not gonna be able to retaliate against her. And she sleeps a little easier at night now that he's gone. There are obviously a lot of conspiracy theories flying around the internet, especially given how many rich and powerful people were associated with Epstein. How do you view those as an attorney? You know, I'm interested in getting to the truth. There does need to be an investigation. There should have been an investigation many years ago when the first brave victims came forward and basically their claims were swept under the rug by authorities. But they persisted. They didn't give up. God bless them for it. 
So it's not too late now to do the right thing and do these investigations. With Jeffrey Epstein being gone, I hope that people will come forward because now is the time. Lisa Bloom, thank you very much. Thank you.